Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Cabin in The Sims 4. Today, thank god, I finished the backyard, I think. I finished it off camera because I was like, listen, we've been sitting here landscaping forever. Like, <laughs> let me just finish up the landscaping and stuff because I had a lot of terrain stuff to fix because it wasn't flat enough over here for a little area and it wasn't like flat enough here to put this thingy. So I like flattened terrain more and was messing with it a bunch. So I landscaped over this way to kind of fit, like cover all the weird terrain stuff. I messed with the terrain paint a lot to make it look kind of like older and dirty. It is the outside. <laughs> I also added this little like area for grilling out because I wanted to have like a little pathway leading up to a grill and a cooler and like a little table so you can hang out outside. And that I think is the whole backyard done. I still have to furnish these areas like these patio thingies but I think I might leave that and and do more of it another time like as we're furnishing the inside because I want to work on the inside today because I haven't done that in a while. We had like a couple parts ago I finished the landscaping. No. I finished the, the floor plan. Different words, actually. <gasps> oh my god. Sorry, I have <laughs> a camera <laughs> on my front door and it, it notifies me when there's activity in front of it. There was just a giant bug in front of my camera. I'm horrified. It's like a wasp thing. Ew. Okay, let's finish this inside. <laughs> All right, I think I was gonna have this be all curved and weird. I think I might not do that because it's kind of, I don't like it. So I'm gonna put it there instead and I'm gonna get rid of this and we'll make it be flat like that because I think that makes more, it's just better, right? Doesn't that make more sense? It looks better, it's, oh, I forgot how ugly it looked in here. Dang it. Okay, we have some work to do. <laughs> this sucks. All right, so can I just get rid of these curtains for now? Can we just not with that and with and the rug? We've, I don't, and, and honestly this table, I'm not even certain about, like, we have, oh, okay, we have so much work to do. <laughs> it's fine. Can we replace the fireplace? Would it be better if it was replaced? I don't, I don't know. It's like, this one's very like wooden, right? But also this one has straight up logs at the bottom of it, but it looks very modern. So probably not that one. This one's not the vibe. <laughs> this one's very fancy. I don't think that's the right move. This one's a little bit too big. This one kind of works, but also the brick does not match my stone. <sighs> I mean, well, to be honest, the taller might be better. It needs more light too, I feel like. It's just dark in here. God, we have so much work to do. Okay, we'll be fine. Oh, wouldn't it be cool to have a fireplace in the kitchen? <gasps> People do that kind of thing. People have fireplaces in kitchens. <laughs> I don't know if I can make that work. Maybe I'll put it on this wall and I'll have counters like kind of along there. No, we'll figure it. Let's, let's put our counters in and we'll figure it out. I was sort of imagining just using this one, although the Jungle Adventure could kind of work too. I'm not sure which is the best bet. This one might be best. Oh, we'll use Jungle Adventure. Great stuff. Does it even look good? I don't know. Look at this. We're gonna have some funky counter shapes. Is that weird? <laughs> it's super weird, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe not then. Where do the where should the counters go? What a why did I pick the weirdest shape of the kitchen? Why couldn't I pick like literally anywhere else to have the kitchen? Because the shape of this area is so strange. I guess maybe that looks good. That's fine. We don't need to have counters underneath that. And then I put the island that I wanted. Can I get a square island? Okay, well, if I made the square correctly, I could. <laughs> At this rate, we're never gonna get a square island. Do they just not, wait, cause you're that piece, you're that piece. Do they just not match up? Why? What? <sighs> I don't want a circle island. Circles are not rustic. Mm, that's so disappointing. <laughs> This isn't what I wanted. Okay, well, oh, well, <laughs> I guess that solves our problems. No, well, um, I guess it doesn't need to be a square. It can be kind of more rectangular. It'll, it'll be fine. No one will even know that it's this bad. It won't even be bad. It'll just look like this instead. It won't, it'll be more like a rectangle and less like a square. That's okay too. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I need to calm down. Did we get bar stools with outdoor retreat? I don't think so. Can I just put like wooden ones? That's ugly. Oh, this is kind of like outdoorsy <laughs> with that green color. Oh, I like that. Okay, we'll keep that. Hey, that's kind of good, right? Nice cabinetry <laughs> all in there. It's so wooden <laughs> in this house. It's just, it's all wood and that's not necessarily a good thing. What if I, oh, we get some shingles. That would solve so many problems. I'm trying to think if there's a way that I could get something slightly different behind this. I don't think so. I don't know, I wish that we had more stone options. That's wild. Like, I don't wanna, okay, just keep the wood, Simsy. It'll be okay. The wood's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm wondering if it'd be better if this was lighter then. Cause it all, it feels like it's so dark in here. Oh, wait. I mean like, 
the whole point was to have it be very dark in here, but if I got some lighter wood cabinets, kind of like, is that a bad thing? I don't know, I feel like that ruins the vibe, because the whole vibe is very, no, we should keep the darker, because the whole vibe is very like dark wood, like the whole inside of the house is like that, so we'll keep it this way. I want to put like a, a big sort of plant in the center of this. I like this one. It's a straight up vase. Oh, I don't need to move it because it won't slot. That's cool. Okay. But like, this is cute, isn't it? Like a barrel with some <laughs> leaves in it. That's so rustic. Don't you agree? Let me put some curtains on that window. Just so you, I don't know, so you can close it if you want and, and get the privacy in the middle of the nowhere. That <laughs> In the middle of the nowhere, I said. I mean, we all need privacy in the middle of nowhere, don't we? I mean, well, they're all cabinets, but I can put cabinets that have <laughs> that have glass in them. Yeah, I was like, we could put cabinets as if that was some sort of genius idea on my part. All right, Simsy, good work. <laughs> Should I put like this stove? <laughs> I want to have it be centered. That's not going to happen because of the way that these cabinets fit and stuff, but I would really like for it to be centered, <laughs> which is rude and not fair. Oh, if I scoot these properly, oh, I can make a stove fit in there. Oh, <gasps> I'm so smart, guys. Okay, wait. <laughs> Wait, I can make it so it fits. All right, let's um scoot this just over enough and that one goes there Okay, maybe not this stove because it doesn't need we, we can have modern conveniences like like modern stoves <laughs> We don't have to have like it all bad. Wait, okay. I'm kind of proud of myself for that one I'm not gonna lie you guys this that was kind of good. That was kind of good. I don't I mean, would the stove hood be in the middle of two cabinets? This is like a facade kind of cabinet where like it it looks like this part opens, but really only this side and this side opens and there's a hood in the middle of it that somehow disappears into nothingness up there. I don't know, okay? It makes sense and it's fine. Just don't think too much about it. <laughs> also, I really enjoy the Jungle Adventure like fridge and stuff. I think that looks really good. The Jungle Adventure, you know, fridges and Fridges and blah blah blah. I don't know. I'd like to have the sink be god. That's so annoying Maybe if I put the sink actually over there instead hang on if I put the fridge over here I could get rid of that. It's honestly okay with me if it doesn't go up to the edge there I like that and I think it's okay that there's no cabinet above it I think that's fine because I, I think that it makes the cabinetry look like it's intentionally over there You know I might make it end give it an end piece as well. Yeah Cool guys, okay <laughs> And then I'll put the sink right here. We do have some kind of exciting sinks. Like we have like actually like this sink that belongs um, in this world. I don't know if it, if it should go there though. <laughs> we also have like some straight up wooden sinks, which for some reason I really like, but I also feel like we should not use. We're gonna use this one. We put these sinks in here, which we can make sure we use those, but I don't know if the wooden one is like the best bet for this particular build. And this could be kind of fun to put somewhere too. <gasps> Wait, if we had like an outdoor kitchen sort of area, like if we had a, a grill, we don't need to have it be like a straight up like kitchen with counters, but like that sink could legitimately make sense outside. Or even the wooden one, there could be like a built-in wooden sink outside if they had like a, a fancy grill. Or honestly, you don't even need a fancy grill for that to be a thing. They have a built-in outdoor wooden shower too. <laughs> I don't know, we, we shouldn't use that. It'd be kind of fun if we did put that somewhere, but like where? We don't need to add more to the outside. But I could, when we add more out here, we can make it so that the sink looks intentional. Cause that kind of thing would be, first of all, very useful in real life to have. Like, I don't know how realistic it is, but this kitchen I really like actually. I'm kind of impressed with, with this exposed shelving. <laughs> exposed open shelving I meant to say I don't know where would the trash can we can put it right here it fits so perfectly <laughs> we can use the barrel one too this is turning out to be one of my favorite houses I've ever built and I I say that about every last build I do but like I really genuinely enjoy this build a lot I think it's really cool I don't know if we need a dishwasher though no offense this is a lot of counter space what should I do to fill it in I mean natural choice is a coffee maker Duh. I'm really proud of how this looks with it centered there. I just think it looks so good in here. Okay. Okay <laughs> I need to calm down. I'm getting too. Oh my god a bathtub with plants in it If we like size that down and put it on a shelf somewhere that'd be wait help I don't know where I deleted it. It's fine. Never mind. I was gonna put it right there But then I was like wait, this is alt place. That'd be stupid. It wouldn't fit properly. I want to get this kitchen like super cluttered up. So I wanna put a lot of things in there like like this. <laughs> uh, oh, there's the pot and pan rack that we can hang on the wall. We'll get like maybe some some bottles of juice. Let me look at the Jungle Adventure furniture really fast. I'm getting distracted, I know, I'm sorry. But I was thinking like Jungle Adventure has a lot of good stuff that kind of fits in this build. For example, 
I think that like a lot of these like wooden like that stool thing is kind of good. They have this table which also like this table is kind of good too. Should we use this table in our dining room instead of the square one? That takes up less space than it I don't know, we might change that back, who knows? But for now, we'll just test it. This is a game all about testing things. <laughs> this is what I was looking for. I think this thing will be useful in here too somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, I guess we can switch where this thing is because this makes sense, like to have, you know, some sort of like, also this does not make sense where it is right now. But like if we write like a, a hutch, a hutch of sorts <laughs> is a, a smart thing to have in your house, I believe. This thing would be kind of cool to hang up somewhere. I mean, it takes up a lot of space, which might be a good thing. Is that interesting? That's like an extension of the cabinetry almost, but I don't know if I like it or not. Is it maybe better against, if I had it like straight up like against the wall, I kind of like it. it. Would be better on this side. I'm just thinking cause like that side already has some open shelving. Wait, I kind of like that in a weird way. I, I know that it's a lot of like openness there. Oh, I'm wearing a Rick Astley shirt by the way. <laughs> But I'm trying to decide if I want to keep that. I don't know. We need to figure out clutter more and what, we, what we're going for exactly. But because to be honest, I'm not even sure. Oh, this lantern. I put the citronella candle out here, but like the lantern could be kind of fun. I had the lantern. I was trying to use the one that came with outdoor retreat, but it just, that lantern from outdoor retreat is so like bright green and like cheap camp lantern. And I want like something nicer. Okay. I'm looking for something nice. We only have the best of things for our Sims. <laughs> All right, I'm super not sure what I'm doing right now. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Oh, this thing could work somewhere too. We don't have much empty wall space, to be honest. There's a lot of windows, especially down here. Like there isn't much wall space in the downstairs. And then there's more upstairs. No, not really. There's more wall space in the bedrooms, I guess, but not down here for some reason. Now I have to fix the dining room too. I've just made so many, can I change these chairs? I wanna use that swatch like with the, and the, the thing is the wood color on this green one is so ugly. <laughs> Like that yellowish orangey wood color is, it's not even, it's not yellowish, it's red. That's red, but that's an, that's an ugly wood color. And like the red has the same kind of like sort of nasty light colored wood. I don't know what I'm doing. That's I think more tolerable though. All right, let's get a different table. This is a disaster. <laughs> even like this table, honestly, that color kind of worked. Wait a minute, hang on folks. If we just put like six of them, instead of having them on either side, cause that's a lot of chairs. But if we had six chairs there, kind of smaller table, you know, not as, not as ridiculous. Can you hear them driving? That's the recycling truck. Um, it's loud, but I'm gonna keep recording because I have to finish this video. <laughs> but um, sorry guys, uh, your loss, I guess. Oh, we could have put this like round rug underneath the bigger one. No, I'm trying to get too much pattern. Stop. Okay, none of these rugs are good enough. <laughs> what kind of laundry day ones do we have? We had this same problem literally the other day. This is a disaster. This kind of works. It's not big enough, not the vibe. I need something slightly more plain. Like this, honestly, the colors in that kind of work, but I just feel like the pattern on it is too much. I have a too much jean, just like Jenna Marbles, and I'm trying to put too much down, and I, I love this rug. This rug could work so well. Like it's so simple. Might be our best bet, to be honest. <laughs> oh, wait, this one's got a good swatch. Uh, there's like a, a plain beige swatch. It's like, it's this one. Wait, and it's nice and big. I don't know if that like looks too modern though. Dang it. <laughs> we can't win. We just can't win. How about the green? No, it's not good enough. Ugh. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I just want like a dark brown rug, okay? I don't know. We had this one before, which honestly I thought was like fine. It's not the vibe though. That is not what I'm going for. Wait, that, I didn't want to use this rug, but I might have, that's, that's the rug. Okay, fine, whatever, fine, that makes sense. It fits, whatever, fine. <laughs> it's a good size, I, it works. We'll, we'll use that one instead. All right, and I'll get that there. See, and then we have like fun, you know, mirrors and stuff that we can put above. Like, look at that, doesn't that look kind of cool? The wood colors in here, oh dear Lord. Can I make this darker? No, ew, oh God, this is not, I'm so stressed right now. <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> Do we get any outdoor retreat art stuff? I know there's like um, that heart wall decoration. We could also end up using, these chairs are not what I'm looking for though. Like this is not the move. This chair, this like log looking freak. Like we don't need that in here. No, no, we, I can use that somewhere, just not Kayla. <laughs> Kayla, <laughs> tone it down. Yeah, like there are these wooden hearts, but that's not what anyone needs. How about a farm painting? 
<sighs> no. Honestly, this one kind of works. That painting is good. We'll use that one for now. And then I was gonna put like, oh, these curtains are too tall, but it works because the windows are so, I mean, the walls are so high. <gasps> Wait, does that color work? Huh, do I, I think, I think I like that. I feel like, um, no, maybe it needs to be like all that solid dark color. It can be solid brown. <laughs> get some brown curtains on the wall. I like this red a lot, but I feel like the just the wood color is so bad. We can use this the blue again. And that honestly that rug can stay with the green accent. I think that works. If I put a table underneath that, does that look weird? No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, the wood colors, listen, the whole house is wood. The wood colors aren't going to match. <laughs> we just have to like get over ourselves on that, okay? It's just not going to happen. The woods aren't going to match. Oh, that looks like one giant window. That's kind of cool. <gasps> Wait. Can I put a bigger one underneath it? I know they're just gonna have view of green. Like you can't even see out that window really, but I think that looks really cool. Cause then it looks like one big window. If I scoot that up, I don't know. I, I'm kind of into it. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool. I'm thinking sunflowers on the table though. Like, I mean, maybe even these, to be honest. I was gonna use these, but they're like kind of cutesy. No, these are ugly. Let's use this one. <laughs> Get some sunflowers are always good. That's that's fitting for a place like this. And then we could put plants in the corner here. Like this one. Big leafy tree. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. <gasps> Can I put a globe bar? Hang on. <laughs> that fits, right? That seems like a reasonable thing to have in a build like this. Like of all the places that are gonna have a globe bar, it's your log cabin in the middle of the mountains. You know, like you, you go all out here in this build. I think we need to have something over here that kind of fills in the space, but I'm not sure what. <laughs> Maybe like, um, what kind of objects do we have in this game? Even just chairs, like some sort of reading nook would be nice. Or like a chess table. I think I firmly stand by chess table concept. That's not a bad one. That just doesn't look good with those chairs. I want to use these chairs somewhere. I still do. I still want to use them. I don't know why, I, but I really do. <laughs> I think I'll have that same, like the chess table with the wicker chairs. It's kind of cute. I don't know where to put it. I could stick it like partially. I don't want to stick it like under the stairs, but I like the idea of it being kind of like partially under the stairs. <laughs> that helps with the space. I don't know. That's kind of interesting playing chess right there. I think it makes sense. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, that's kind of cute. I think the color of this this rug is not on the move. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, well, even any round rug will look good, I bet. Like this one, can I size it down? Can I just use that plain, like that lighter color? I don't know how to, I don't, I don't know what the furniture should look like in this house. <sighs> this is so much more difficult than I ever anticipated. <laughs> Why does it have to suck so much? And that clips like so much, which is not what I wanted. You go there and then there, okay. I guess that's not touching the glass, is it? It is, that's fine, you can't tell. Oh, wait, this little bench, hang on. <laughs> I wanna have a little bench. I wanna put, I don't, oh, this is not a good spot for it. I just wanna have this bench somewhere. I can put it there. I don't know why you wanna go sit in this area, but like, I'm sure you do, <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, why why wouldn't you want to go sit over here in this random little dark corner? I, you'd be a freak if you didn't want to. See, a lot of the things that came in this pack are just not, they're not good. Like, I don't want to use this. <laughs> you know, like I want to have a cute little side table, but I don't want to use that. It's just weird. I don't know. I, I can put this lamp. No longer is it a dark, weird corner. This is a good lamp. I should use that in more of the build. Let's put the lamp around the place. <laughs> Let's just use this lamp then a bunch of times, right? Actually, having this lamp, like, we need to, we need more light in this area. If we, like, switch it up like that, maybe? That's good. It doesn't look as, like, there's things in each corner, <laughs> you know? Like, it looks like, I don't it looks better, I think. I, I don't know what I'm saying, so bear with me, but I think that makes sense. Oh, Jesus, what is that? Why? I hate Strangerville so much. <gasps> this little pig thing. Hang on, we'll put it, okay, I'm just, like, grabbing clutter items and, and putting it in the rooms, their respective rooms. And we'll worry about decorating for real later, but I feel like as long as we've got an idea of what we're doing, this is one of those things. It's all about the planning, okay? <laughs> I want something to put on this little table. Like, this guy is kind of cute. He could go here. And it's outdoor retreat, so, and he's floating. That's not what anyone wants. There he is. Oh, wait. Wait, look at him. Oh my god, he's cute. Okay, we're keeping him there. That's really good. I like that a lot. Okay, I think this room is done, to be honest. I like it a lot. I think it's really pretty in there. And look at when the... 
stunning, honestly. <laughs> I wish that there was a, a bigger chandelier. That's like my one, my one issue. Even if we had like, like this thing like sized up or something, does that look super weird? Oh, I can hang it like directly above the, I mean, it's, it's, I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> it's very odd, I guess uh, is the correct answer. Yes, it's super weird, but like, I wanna have something bigger hanging. We had this before, but it's like straight up fancy candle thing. Like that's not necessarily what we're going for with this. If I size this up, that's really weird. They're like giant, no. Or just the one? How does that look when there's just the one? Oh, that's, see the pendant's long enough and the light doesn't look super like aggressively weird. Like that's a, that's a good sort of, oh, there we go, see? Yeah, I like, okay, I actually really like that a lot. That, the room just came together so nicely. All right, team, we did that. I've been recording for so long though. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go. <laughs> so make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I was very worried about furnishing this place because I just, it's so out of my comfort zone. Like we can tell, it's very weird for me, but I think it's coming along nicely. I'm very proud of myself. Thank you very much.